Kendall is fresh off of winning the MLB Home Run Derby yet again in his career, but he's getting ready for the All-Star Game. We won the Home Run Derby, we want to win this All-Star Game MVP, but these uniforms are absolute trash. Now look at Kendall and what he's done so far this season. He's leading the league in average for batting at 377. He has seven triples on the year so far, which is already crazy. 43 home runs. He is on pace to shatter the single season home run record by Barry Bonds. Absolutely on pace to destroy it. 102 RBIs, which is again, something crazy. And of course, he's sitting here at the top of the MVP voting award. Harold Green and Miguel Cabrera behind him. David Price for the Tigers is actually number one in the, the voting for the Cy Young. But let's look at the rosters. You can see on our side, uh, you've got Salvador Perez, you have Kendall, Michael Brantley, and Pollock. Pitching, you have Strasburg for the National League, John Lester here in the American League. Things are about to get interesting. Can Kendall win both the Home Run Derby and the All-Star Game MVP? We've seen him do it before, but can he do it again? But what is going on? Kendall, this is the worst possible way to start the game. You foul one off, and the catcher gets the easiest catch of the game. That's not a good look. So moving on to the third inning. Nobody on and one out. 0-0 zero, zero ball game still. Kendall's got a chance to do something here. First pitch is coming in. It's a nasty slider there. Kendall lays off of that one, though. So we're looking for something more across the plate on a 1-1 one, one count. Next pitch is low, and Kendall drives it to deep right center field. This one's going to stay in the ballpark. It's right off the wall, though. Kendall is easily going to get a stand-up double here, and that is exactly what we want to do. That first at bat, absolutely horrible. Our next at bat looked good, but... These uniforms are just horrible. Now, Pablo Sandoval is coming up. Hopefully, his belt doesn't break here. The Kung Fu Panda, well, he's been eating a little bit too much. But he drives on in there to right field. Kendall's going to turn from second base to third. Rounds the corner at third base. Gets in. He's going to stand up and get the go-ahead run there. Exactly what this team needed. Great work so far by Kendall. Now, one for two with that double. He scored a run, obviously. But the National League has put some runs in. They're up 3-2. We have a man on, though. Two outs. The ball is coming in. The showtime is coming in. Kendall's focusing on this one. And he destroys it to deep left center field. That is absolutely out of the ballpark. No chance of getting that one. The outfielders just didn't even move on that one. A two RBI shot. Kendall gives the American League the lead again with a 465 foot home run. That's just ridiculous. Now, Andrew McCutcheon comes up, seeing if he can do something, but Kendall is back up to bat. We have a force free lead after that home run. Kendall gets right on that changeup but drives it out of foul territory. 0 1 count. Next pitch. Kendall hits it out to right field. The right fielder's got it, and he just. Manages to hold on to that one. Great snag there by the right fielder. Now, here in the ninth inning, we have a one run lead, two outs, nobody on. Can we win this ball game? The ball's hit right to Kendall. We threw it with the backhand. Get it over to the first base. Don't make an error. And it's just right there to the first baseman. We're going to walk out of here with a W. The American League wins the ball game. Things are looking good. And of course, your boy Kendall King gets the All Star Game MVP. So he won the home run derby. He got the All Star Game MVP. That, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what we wanted to happen. That's a successful All Star weekend. Now, jumping back into the regular season, we're 52 and 38. We're going up against King Felix here in Seattle. He's had a pretty good campaign so far. 9 and 5. Can't be too mad at that. Kendall, of course, 43 home runs, 102 RBIs, a batting average just shy of 400. And no, 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 Kendall. You just started the All Star game this way, but lucky for us, that foul ball is out in the territory. Now, the next pitch is in. Kendall hits it out to right field. The right fielder's running after this one. And he misses it somehow. He doesn't even catch that one. This ball's going to go off the wall. Kendall's going to make his way into second base. They're going to give him an extra base hit and not call that one an error. It was kind of a 50-50 play there. But Kendall starts the game off strong. Now the average is up to 375 now after that double. Here in the third, one runner on. Ball's coming inside there with the four-seam fastball. 1-0 count now, two out. Ball is in. And Kendall lights this one up. That is out to deep right center field. No doubter. No way anybody's going to catch that one. Kendall gets a souvenir to the fans, but there's like 25 fans here in Seattle. This team is a far cry of what it used to be in the 90s. They've completely fallen off. King Felix, trade that man and put him on a good team. Maybe trade him to the Astros. I'd be okay with that. And with two a lead here for us after Kendall's home run. The ball's hit right to Kendall. He's got to dive to get this one. Can he get to it? He's running out of time. He manages to snag that one. Can he get the double play? We flip it to Odor. Odor gets it over to first base, and Prince Fielder grabs that one. What a play by the Astros. Now here, Kendall's two for two with a home run and a double here in the fifth inning. Next pitch is in. Felix is still in the ball game, and he throws one into the dirt. I feel like he's not ready to throw one to Kendall at this point. He seems a little nervous, if you ask me. Next pitch on a one-two count. Kendall drives it right down the third baseline. It just goes over the bag, but Kendall's going to try to turn it into a double. Can he get in? The ball's going to be close, and Kendall is just under the tag. Another extra base hit for Kendall. It seems like all he does is get extra base hits, and while that's great, the amount of stolen bases he has this season, well, it's not anywhere near to what it used to be. He's kind of 
chilling in that category. But look at Prince Fielder driving one to deep right field. He says no chance of stealing a base today because Prince Fielder goes yard. He's in pretty good shape. He's the complete opposite of Pablo Sandoval right now. Got to be happy with how Prince Fielder has been playing so far here uh, in this season in 2020. Now we're up 4-1 here in the sixth, 2-2 two -two count. Ball's hit right to Kendall. We snagged that one out of the air. It was a bad hop, but Kendall still holds on to it. Gets it to first, and it's another good out for Kendall. I know we really want a gold glove, and I don't know if we're going to get one this season, but please vote for Kendall to win a gold glove. He absolutely deserves it with these crazy plays he's making so far this year. Now a nasty curveball there. Kendall drives that one into foul territory. Next pitch on a 1-2 count in the ninth is thrown inside. Kendall is not too happy about that one. And you know if you throw Kendall the pitch inside... He's going to make you pay, and of course he does there. Drives that one into left field. The left fielder throws it into home plate. The runner is already too far ahead, and the throw is offline. We get an RBI. Most importantly, we get the victory, and Kendall King is killing it this season. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Hit the like button to share your support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.